Yeah, they just wait for one train from Lowestoft. Let's go through. So it's just been repurposed. They yeah. still do the same job, technically, they protect the bridge. So hence they didn't need to relock the frame or anything. You can see the colours on the bottom here represent what used to be here. So when this was a full signal box back in 2020 and before, these would have been, that would have been distant, there would have been some other semaphores on the line, but of course they're not in use anymore, hence the tops are painted white to indicate spare. Mm -hmm. So how far away were the signals that used to operate? Uh, we can take one number eight if we just, just where the whistle ball, uh, the 30 mile hour board is, just down there, on the down side. Can you see the round, back of the round board? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's the number eight there. And that was mechanically worked? And that was semaphore, which was done by an engager, and all rodden along the bridge. So it can't work when the bridge is open? No. Yeah. 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 Just probably kind of a bit of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you want to have that one clearing. <laughs> I remember as a kid seeing these long rods that That's move it, yeah. alongside the rails. Yeah, right? yeah, the point rod. You got yeah. a small section of that out here on the um, what are the bolts? On the bolts. Yeah, so it's still there. Just obviously disconnected. I mean, probably be frowned upon once I fess it up, but we used to put coins on the railway when we used to get that. Fair old railway, wasn't it? So that must have been about. I don't know, 800 yards? Mile and, like mile and a half, was it? Mile and a half. Will it have yeah. been out of home and in a home? Yeah. 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 So, well, in our in well, GE first terminology, first home, second, second home. Oh, sorry, it's yeah. a long thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a regional variation, isn't yeah, it? I'm yeah, I'm embarrassed at saying that, sorry. Yeah. No, but if, it, if it's like Western, for example, it would be inner, outer, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but here, yeah, it's first home, second home, third home, starter. Yeah, yeah that's the way it generally works. And then, and then the distant. other direction, number six distant, number only yeah, the six was the distant. Yep, that was a colour line. Seven, first home. home, eight, second home, nine starter. Yeah, uh, ten, ten starter. Star, great born, yeah. Yep. So you can still oh. see the old block by the block white band on it. <laughs> see? Oh. Yeah, so that was originally oh, the starter. So yeah, a first starter and a second starter. No, so that would have been... I'm, I'm, ah. <laughs> <laughs> distant, 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 yeah, first, first home. home. Second home, third home, starter. Ah, oh, yeah. right, okay. And this way I'll be distant, first home, second home, starter. Right, okay. Out of the frame. So it's like a dual control. See, so it's number 11 here, and Colchester refers to it as 8382, so that's the actual signal number. There's a train now approaching, that the red lights have lit up. What's that do wheel there for? That's the waiter's wheel. Yeah, so what the bridge actually sits on, just like yep. the waiters. Yeah. And that's what we draw the wedges out with, just a big wheel. The medium is a lot smaller. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's basically that mechanism. That's that giant scale beam just downstairs in the wall, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So, with with eight or eleven in reverse, you are in effect releasing this bit of railway to Colchester Precisely. to allow them to clear. That's correct. Only eight three eight two. Yeah. Okay. Correct. If they tried to do it without that lever out they'd just get an alarm and that good. wouldn't clear. Yeah. You need, uh, if the conditions both need to be off, effectively. Yeah. I noticed on the side of the bridge you have like a, a matrix display for the boats. Mm -hmm. Is that worked off the laptop? Yeah, there it is. So it's currently got bridge closing at the moment. Uh, so you can play anything you want on there. It'll yeah. be five minutes, have a cup of tea. Yeah, you can put personalise all you want, yeah. <laughs> all kinds of fun. Yeah. There are some preset messages. Yeah, you can't yeah. just realise that's the wrong messages up at the moment. <laughs> Network Rail welcomes MV Hullabaloo. Have, have a safe journey. Absolutely, anything you want. Like a logger to a market and then bring it back and then adjust it and lock it in here and then measure it. Yeah. To, to adjust the cut, but when they did that, the brake was supposed to be in the end. The blade was here, just to measure it. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yeah, so now that train right. is now cleared, and obviously, make sure there's still trains around. So it's low stop here, and that's us has here, had a ski, where the trains now gone past. So we've got phone connections there, have you? Sorry? Phone connections are there. To now, get... now it's all there. Um, that's all control the top stuff. Yeah, but th this information, how does that get to you here? That's all, um, that's all on the internet, uh, well, internal network. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, the, the, the cameras are all just local, and then all of that stuff on the middle computer just comes through our internal system. So it's all, yeah, we've got the connectivity here and everything. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we've just moved slightly. Yeah, that's the bridge there. Yeah, that's the bridge there. Yeah. Just to give you a little bit of extra safety. There you go. So then when they quit the slide, so they pull to no lock down. The Danny flip. So they never okay. see the bridge. So 
person in the bolt lever, we've got two bolts, we've got one on the downside at the far end, yeah. that's inside the two rails, yeah. and then the same on the upside. It's basically a bar that's on the land side yeah. that slots into the bridge, that holds in position. That gap between the rails looks like about two inches. Yeah. Does that close up in hot weather? Yeah. You'll see the indicators on the wall over there. Like. Turn on this way to the panels up. The hydraulic jacks. Start up. We've got the jacks in the middle of the bridge. And the pit, which you can't see. There's a jack there. And a jack there. Then I track up. Okay. I'm pushing the pins. It basically pushes the middle of the bridge up. And the way some jacks up way. So basically the bridge is now far back. In the middle. Yeah. And then that then releases us to release the wedges that the bridge sits on. And we want to be the place all the wedges. We just have them go as they go out. And then that. And then you'll see the ends of the wire part. So then jack's now lowered, turn that off, then we come up to the slow mower, start her up. Just think the wheels ain't going around downstairs. And then it's all pulled by cable. That way that's leaving the clutch. Basically taking up the slack of the roof that's all outside. And you see it on the roof now. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's basically all that's pulling the bridge over. Uh, obviously if the moat would fail, that could be all done by hand. A hand winch which is outside. Oh uh, right. just that great box over there with the bridge switch on. Right there. Yeah there. There's a cable inside that we can have done.
two two cables coming out. One goes to there and pulleys mozzy. One goes under, goes the just the opposite side. So it's basically like a cable car. Yeah. One pulls, one one sort of takes the slack, and or vice versa when it comes back. Do you raise the bridge on a thrust bearing, or is it always just on the bearing it's on? No, they're on. Um, <laughs> um, jacks. Well, you've got four jacks inside. Yeah. When, when you go upstairs, you'll see. You'll, I'll show. You, uh, yeah. There's a little video screen. Yeah. Which, which you can see them on. Yeah. So they, they'll raise. They'll push the bridge up. Yeah. And obviously, you pull the bolts out. Clamps out. And then, then they lower the lower the um, jacks. And obviously, that's ready to swing them. Carl explained it all to you. He's, he's, he's more of a favourite. So the jacks basically hold the vertical line and the four chains. But basically, the trouble is because it's a set of simple filters, you need a jack at arm. Basically, because the bridge goes like that, flex, yeah, flexes. So you, wow. need, you need a jack at arm. Let's keep bolts out. The big thing with these is everything's riveted, it's not worthy, there's it's, it's obviously some weld in it somewhere, but everything's riveted, so obviously lasts longer than a weld. So, you know, you obviously thought about that side of things. You thought round here, yeah, could open as a big risk. Stand back from the table. Oh, well, there's no single equipment inside, not a single weld. So what was that doing there? That's released the bolt. That's what you know, most of the jacks will be the jack stone. So that's, that's, that's what he's been doing, the jacks have been doing as well. But the best of it is, as you, as you can see, it's pretty uh, original. You've got the two follow wheels on the end. You've got the two winches. You put the cable this end, side and that side. Obviously, do the pull or take up the slack. And you've got the gear, gear mechanism in the middle. Touch. And so in 1905, what drove that gear? All clear, all clear, yeah, sorry, all clear. That was one of the things that was here. Did you want to make your way through it? 